So here, what is Allah, uh, what is Ibrahim alayhi salam saying? Very, very famous words. I'm sure a lot of us are very familiar with the, 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 the prayer at the bottom of this, of this page, page 17. Um, this is when Ibrahim alayhi salam has left uh, Hajar and Ismail, baby Ismail, right? Uh, in, uh, in and around the area of the sacred house. Yeah, uncultivated, seemingly unfriendly, no water, okay, barren land, right? Fulfilling as he did, um, without question, without question, and with full trust and with full confidence, the, um, uh, the command of his Lord. What did he say? I mean, as he is leaving, yeah, he's left them there. Look at his prayer. Rabbana, our Lord, inni askantu min bi wadin ghayri li zar'in inda baytika al-muharram. I have established some of my offspring in an uncultivated valley close to your sacred house. Rabbana, Lord, li yuqimus salah so that they may keep, may keep up the prayer, right? This is where I've left them. And in this area, despite its sort of punishing environment, almost, yeah? Why in this area? And what, what is the one thing that I want them to be able to do? salah To keep up the prayer. And then look what he says next. Very interesting. So make people's hearts turn to them. And provide them with produce so that they may be thankful. So Ibrahim alayhi salam in his request, in his supplication, is not just expressing to Allah the fact that he has left his family there with a desire that they would continue the prayer and they would not abandon this a practice of prayer. But he's also uh, making a supplication for the material conditions to be in place that also facilitate, you know, safe living and salah and prayer, right? Uh, because when, if you have a safe environment and you're provided for, at least to the, the minimum degree, then that is what allows for the possibility of uh, prayer happening kind of consistently, right? Meaning if you're so troubled by your immediate circumstances, it's difficult to forget your know, God, the hereafter and all of the rest of it after a while because you're so um, sort of uh, consumed by worrying about your immediate material needs, which is why the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam would seek refuge from you know, absolute poverty and um, uh, the complete absence of any material uh, needs, although he would request to be with those, uh, who, uh, with the masakin, right? In amongst those who just had enough to get by, because that's enough, right? But just having that enough and having people inclined towards you so that your uh, social state okay, is one of relative ease, as well as having enough to keep you going, literally, uh, physically, and uh, in terms of produce, is critical, right? Why though? So that they may be thankful. How are they going to be thankful? They're going to establish prayer, keep up the prayer. And then it's just a couple of verses later, the famous prayer. My Lord grant that I and my offspring may keep up the prayer. Not just me, but my future generations. And everybody here who has kids or inshallah one day will have kids. The number one concern for your children is this. Yeah? This. Your, your hope your aspiration, your supplication, uh, the, way which you, the way in which you raise them, the way in which you speak to them. You do so in you, your prime objective. Prime objective is that when, they are, when they've grown up and they are adults and they continue into life, that you have done your best to facilitate that prayer will continue. The legacy of prayer will continue. The Muhammadan legacy, the Abrahamic legacy. And as we have learned and all reminded ourselves, the, 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 the state of all that is out there. Rabbi Jalim Maqima Salah Wamin Duryati. And Ibrahim alayhi salam, you know, is very noteworthy, not just here, but elsewhere uh, in the Quran, uh, demonstrates at all times a concern for what's going to happen after he's gone. Yeah? Will this prayer continue? Will people follow? Will they have? He even, he, he even supplicates for the coming of the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa as I'm sure we're all aware. And from his, from his own line, okay, countless prophets. Right, uh, uh, emerged, okay, and eventually, uh, of course, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself. So, Rabbana wa taqabbal du'a, okay, Re to he's he's supplicating and he's really, um, you know, uh, it's the idea of you know the, as the Christians say, Lord, hear our prayer. You know, you make the supplication and it's like, please hear 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 out what I've just said. Yeah, don't let that one pass. Don't let that one go because he's demonstrating how critical he knows how important this is. Okay, how central it is, the value of it, okay, of this salah and keeping it up. 
our Lord forgive me my parents and the believers on the day of reckoning. We go back uh, to the previous slide just to cover that. This is uh, slide number 16 now. And then this is later on, Ismail has grown up somewhat. And Allah says, we made the house a resort and a sanctuary for, for people saying, take the spot where Abraham stood as your place of prayer. And as we, every time we go to the Kaaba, can okay, going, the very action of going to the Kaaba in Hajj, in Umrah, you know, is first and foremost a, uh, a commemoration of the legacy of Ibrahim, alayhi salam, right? After you finish the tawaf, what do you do? You go and you pray two units of prayer and you fulfill this command here. Take as your place of prayer that spot where Ibrahim stood. Yeah, what an amazing, um, what, just what an amazing legacy. And look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, it was phenomenal about Ibrahim alayhi salam. That scenario, I mean, look, look at the scenario. Ibrahim alayhi salam, a desperate wife and a, and a crying child and a barren land. <laughs> I mean, if anything is, can show us that what the, what the true trust in Allah and obedience to Allah and love for Allah can achieve, right? in terms of a legacy and an outcome, even when you, when you have nothing, when, when everything looks like there are just no means here. I mean, there's just nothing going on here. There's nothing here, you know? SubhanAllah, the, 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 that, that is truly, it's, just, it's such an amazing a picture to think about, all right? Um, and look now, millions and millions and millions of people um, are each year commemorate him, okay? And, 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 and fulfill the legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam by circulating the house and and, and literally look at the next part here. We commanded Abraham and Ishmael, purify my house for those who walk around it. Those who stay there, those who bow and prostrate themselves in worship. Al-ta'ifin wal akifin Aqifin literally means like i'tikaf in a sense, those who stay there, who are stay resident and in place. Wal ruqa sujood, those who bow down and prostrate themselves in worship. So clearly prayer, prostration, uh, bowing, all part and parcel of uh, the time of Ibrahim alayhi salam. And the next verse um, is, is very, very similar. We showed Abraham the site of the house saying, do not assign partners to me, purify my house for those who circle around it. So the purification is twofold, physical uh, in terms of cleanliness, uh, but more importantly, a purification, meaning purify this area from, the, the, from idolatry and from the worship of anything other than God. Uh, and then similar, very similar verse, a very similar verse, uh, purified for who? لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْقَائِمِينَ وَرُكَّعِ السُّجُودِ Those who, those who Circle around it, those who stand to pray, qa'im, so the standing position, if you like, right, in prayer, waruqa, uh, the bowing position, was sujood, the prostration. Okay, and that's who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, these are the people that Allah values, and these are the people for whom Ibrahim alayhi salam was instructed to, uh, uh, to, to purify and, and prepare the house. How did you find that? I hope it was useful. If so, hit the like button, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.